Who should be in prison 100, but they aren't because they are rich. Who was that affluenza kid who was underage drinking, drunk driving, and ran over and killed like five people then claimed he was too rich to know right from wrong and actually got off the hook with that defense? David Miscavige. Edit Spelling. The clients of Epstein and Maxwell. How you can have those two on the hook and no other people have been convicted? No one from the 2008 financial crisis went to jail. They fucking should have. Instead most got government bailouts and still got bonuses. Every motherfucker in Ghislaine Maxwell's book. Prince Andrew. Or more specifically, he's not in prison because his MR was rich. The Sackler family for the opioid crisis. List of Epstein Island visitors. The rapist Brock Allen Turner. Imelda Marcos believe it or not, she is 92 hasn't spent a day in jail in spite of being convicted and sentenced. Roman Polanski for sexual assault of S13 years old. Although more women have made allegations against him. OJ. Epstein visitors. It's terrifying that it seems like the main reason it's not being released is because the amount of powerful people on it would have enormous earth-changing ramifications. Good. Let the pieces fall where they may, all of them deserve the harshest penalties, irrespective of wealth power, it shouldn't have been allowed to happen, and especially go unpunished. Logan Paul for fraud. That wife of an American diplomat who ran over a guy in Britain, was ordered not to flee the UK but did. Poor Harry Dunn. All the rich people who went to that island of paedophiles. Ezra Miller. Gonna go with a not widely known. Rebecca Grossman. She hit and killed two young boys with her car and tried to flee the scene. She was racing her boyfriend when it happened and it's suspected that she was drinking. Trial is soon but she should already be in jail. The whole Sackler family. Alice Walton, heiress to Walmart. She's had multiple drunk driving incidents, one in which she killed someone but was never charged. She even has the wealth, power, and affluence to have records of arrest wiped. She keeps millions worldwide in poverty while she bribes intimidates the legal system to benefit herself. Her last one prosecutors let the statute of limitations expire on and the trooper who pulled her over and conducted the field sobriety test was unable to testify due to mysteriously being suspended. Whoever the fuck runs Nestle. Chris Brown. Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Basically, the Philippines' current president. Ethan Couch the affluenza defense judge rules rich kids rich kid Ness makes him not liable for deadly drunk driving accident. The rapist Brock Turner. Sam Bankman fried. Putin. Every dude at the Vatican City who knows about all the rapes the priests do and cover up for them. He's dead now, but Ted Kennedy absolutely should have gone to prison. Driving drunk, ran his car off the road into a pond. Left the scene with his passenger, Mary Jo Kopchen, trapped in the car underwater. Needless to say she drowned. Just another example of how the Kennedys view the peasants. And Sekoulas, she's the wife of a US diplomat in the UK who hit and run a teenager and fled the country. She's been charged and found guilty of manslaughter in the UK but the US government is claiming she has diplomatic immunity and refusing to hand her over. Meanwhile, the devastated parents of this kid are left without justice because she happens to be married to a diplomat. Literally everyone associated with Epstein. The rapist Brock Allen Turner. Everyone in Wall Street responsible for the global financial crisis. O.J. Simpson. Prince Andrew. Bill Cosby. Kenneth Caudle Griffin. Everyone that visited Epstein's island. Caitlyn Jenner. How do you just run over someone? My bad, she did not run anyone over. She caused a fatal car accident and was not charged. 
people who got elected to Congress when poor but left as the one. Epstein's Clients Kenneth Caudle Griffin Matt Gates. Dude was running his own small-scale lowly express, and we're just supposed to act like it never happened. Rupert Murdoch. Putin. Chris Brown. Dr. Phil and Dr. Ounce. Phil sent plenty of kids to horrible abuse camps and Ounce has murdered puppies. Both are con men who give horrible advice. The woman who lied and got Emmett Till murdered. Jeff Epstein, but you know, you can't go to prison if you're dead. Andrew of York. Logan Paul. O.J. Simpson. Pretty much every single person involved with Epstein. It's wild when you think about it, it's like some goddamn cartoon or something. Man is found guilty of pedophilia, is put in jail, and mysteriously commits suicide. Yeah, right and nothing seems to be happening with it either. People clearly waved some cash around to make the problem just go away. The Green family of Hobby Lobby for their smuggling operation. Ezra Miller. Ray Lewis, Tyreek Hill, Deshaun Watson. OJ literally wrote a book titled If I Did It and the If is in super tiny letters. Prince Andrew. O.J. Ben Roethlisberger. Raped a girl in Georgia he met at a bar. She gave her statement. Other witnesses gave their statements, prosecutor said there just wasn't enough evidence. She wasn't the only one who made accusations against him. Ken Cordell Griffin and Stephen Arthur Cohen. Game of Thrones Season 8's writers. Woody Allen. Everyone who is a CEO of a private insurance company, especially in the US. Fuck you and your $10 million bonus while people are going into financial ruin because they don't want to die. Casey Anthony. Roger Stone. Our neighbor who killed my cat because it was walking in her garden. Ken Griffin. Brock Allen the rapist Turner. Everybody on Epstein's travel list. Putin? O.J. Simpson. His case was a dumpster fire filled with dirty cops, a paid-off jury, and a judge too scared to start a riot with the issue of race increasing. Cosby. I feel like Trump is an obvious answer to this. The man has committed a slew of crimes, but nothing ever sticks. Well the guy who runs North Korea. Ken Griffin. Ken Griffin lied under oat. Ginny Thomas. Her response to her committing crimes on January 6th is literally lol, my bad. George Bush and Dick Cheney. Their lies about weapons of mass destruction led to a war that lasted longer than World War II and as a result, many lives of American soldiers and Iraqi civilians are lost. 90 of politicians. Kenneth Griffin. The current Philippine president, his mother, and his predecessor. Henry Kissinger. The former president of Brazil, Joey Bolsonaro. Mother lover ran to Miami three days ago. Casey Anthony. And it's not BC she was rich, there is actually no reason why. But she was banging her attorney. Trump is the answer. Klaus Schwab. Kenneth Caudle Griffin CEO of Citadel. Tmartin, the Paul brothers, James Charles, Noah Thomas Gal, Shane Dawson, Putin, Bill Cosby. I did not intentionally try to mainly focus on influencers YouTubers. Just kind of turned out that way.